Today I'm going to be talking about Proxmox a little bit because not everybody likes to run things on TrueNAS. A lot of people like to keep their NAS being a NAS and then do everything else on a separate machine. So if you're blessed enough to have two servers uh, and you've set up Proxmox, which is a whole nother video, this is mine, this is my actual Proxmox. I'm just going to show you how to set up a quick container today because I'm going to do an example of how to migrate an app from TrueNAS, TrueNAS scale over to a Proxmox machine. So in order to deploy these things, I like to use ttext scripts. You'll see these here. So I'll come in here and type in just Docker, and I use, like to use LXCs. So you guys can use the Alpine if you want, but I'm going to use the standard um, Ubuntu Docker, and I'm just going to do this really fast. So we're going to go into the shell of Proxmox, and I'm just going to paste that using a shift insert. And I'm going to go with all the default settings. just for simplicity's sake. Because I just want to set up the fastest container I can just so I can show how to migrate apps. So if you've never used Proxmox before, once you're set up, T-Tech makes it really easy to do this. He has all these scripts already pre-made and you can see all your defaults here. It's going to be Debian 12. He's going to give a four gigabyte hard disk space, which is, I'm probably going to show you how to make a little bit bigger, two cores, two gigs of RAM, and these are all the rest of the defaults. So it's telling you down here what's going on. Right now they're pulling. Ooh, that's interesting. Usually that doesn't happen. Uh, the update failed, but it's okay. We're going to come over here and see what's going on. So it's created the container. It's going to go with 109. So you'll see that's the new one right here. Container 109 was successfully created. So this is my new container 109. Don't click off of the screen yet because it's going to ask you some questions. Just hang out here. Don't touch anything. As you'll see, it's already installed Debian 12, and it's going to install Docker right now. And that's going to ask me if I want to install Docker Compose and Portainer. So I'm going to say ye, no to Portainer, no to the Portainer agent. I definitely want to install Docker Compose, so I'm going to say yes to that. Okay, now we're done. So when I come over here to Docker to 109, this is the new container created. Now the resources are a little skimpy, so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to I'm going to make some quick changes, and because this is an LXC, I can do it instantaneously. I don't have to do a restart. So see that? So my memory, that one like that. I'm going to edit this. I'm going to give it four cores. Okay, and the volume is too small. It's only four gigs. I'm just going to bump it just a little bit. So resize. Right here, size increment. This is not how big the drive is going to be. This is how much more you want to give it. So it's already four. Let's say I want to make it 20, which means I need 16 more gigabytes. So I'm going to hit resize, and the task resized. OK. Now we see the root disk is 20 gigs. So we can do all this on the fly without doing any type of restarts or anything. So now I come over here to summary. You'll see it's changed. Now I have four CPU, eight gigs of memory, two gigs of swap. And of my 20 gigs, I get 19 just because of the way it has to write the table. So it's basically a 20 gig hard drive. And that's it. So now when I come into the console, this is it. I'm in root. And that's everything. That's everything. So Docker and Compose is installed in this. I can type in Docker. There you go. And I can type in Docker Compose, and you'll see. Oops, well, because if I spelled it right, there it is. So all these things are already installed, and I'm done. That's how fast I can set up a completely separate virtual LXC to host my new containers.